Hi, a couple of weeks ago I came across an interesting input device that interfaces nicely with an Arduino. It's a joystick and I've got one sitting right here and as you can see I've mounted it in a piece of plywood. There's the back of it. And it allows me to push up, down, left, right, any way I want around there. There's also a push button built in. If you listen you should be able to hear it click. So I've got access then to an x-axis and that's an analog output to the Arduino. It goes from 0 to 1023 and a y-axis it goes from 0 to 1023 plus a digital button push and I thought well this would be a neat thing to use for a throttle for a model railroad and that's what I've done. I've taken that joystick mounted it in a little case again forward Sl or faster, slower, and I can control the direction this way and put a little screen on it to let me know what speed I happen to be running at and I decided if I'm going to go to the trouble of building up a throttle it might be fun to have three channels so that I can actually control three trains. This is ideal for someone that doesn't have DCC, doesn't have a sophisticated train lay layout, just wants to run some trains using track power because what I've got here is a controller, wireless controller, battery operated controller that can talk to up to three different receivers. I've got one here connected to this little hobby motor, one here connected to this motor, and one here connected to the Shea. Now just to give you an idea of, of how much current this stuff can handle, that Shea draws several amps when it's running at full speed. This board is capable of delivering well over a few amps. So uh, we wouldn't have any difficulty using this with G scale or just about any uh, scale. In order to operate this, we'll just turn it on. The display gives a little screen, tells the copyright and, and the, uh, the uh, date of the version. And it gives you a direction and speed display. The direction is three little carrots. In this case, it's pointing to the left, which would be reverse. If I hit the stick to the right, it switches to the right. And if I go forward, you might hear this motor here beginning to spin. And the range is 0 to 255, which is a very round number for computers. I can slow it down. And if I move the stick just a little bit up, it'll increase speed very gradually. If I push it faster or forward, uh, for, further forward, it will go up much more quickly and I can do the same to slow it down. Okay, the second receiver and I can tell that it's number two because the LED is lit. We can make uh, each of these receivers to be channel one, two, or three. It doesn't really matter. You just hold the button down when you turn the power on you can change the channel. But let's go to channel two by pressing the button in. Now we're on two and if I push forward faster, faster that's now spinning at full speed. If I reverse it, comes to a stop, speeds up again, reverse it again, bring it back down to a slower speed. All right, let's go to the third channel, which is this one, connected to the Shea, and we'll say, there we are. I was pushing pretty quickly. There's, and let's reverse that. and bring that down slowly. Now let's bring it down a little more quickly. And now I can bring it down real slowly. Just working at a crawl. And you notice the other two motors are still running. It remembers the setting, the direction, and the speed setting for the other ones. Let's go to number one, slow him down. Number two, slow him down. Speed him back up again. And if I want to uh, shut down all three at the same time, just hold the button for about two seconds, let go, and they shut down. So a fairly simple system for people that really don't want to get into a sophisticated radio control. Here's another throttle that I built. This one happens to be in a clear uh, acrylic case. You can see inside of it, there's an Arduino Pro Mini down here. The joystick is here. There's a battery up here from a cell phone. And laying on the side is the, uh, the radio uh, module that does the transmitting and receiving. And inside of each of these receivers, I can open that up, you've got the three LEDs. 
a motor control board. I happen to use one from IC Station. Here's the transmitter receiver, the same as in the, uh, uh, the throttle. The Arduino is back here. A little bit of hand wiring that's explained rather uh, clearly, hopefully it is anyway, on my webpage. I think you could duplicate this pretty easily, not very expensively. Maybe $100 worth of parts for all four pieces, the throttle and three receivers. And of course you don't need that three receivers, you can work with just one or two. And if you wanted to run this uh, as a battery operated system, there's no reason why you couldn't put a battery in, put this in a trailing car, and run it completely without track power. An interesting project, hopefully it meets the needs of uh, some of the folks that are looking at this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me an email, david at davebodner.com. Uh, a good bit of detail, photographs, schematics, and so on of this project are on my website at trainelectronics.com. Thank you.